This is Stephen Platinum, your friend in wrestling with Platinum vs. Raw. This is from August 2nd, 2021, and it was a night of 50-50 booking kind of stuff. Um, small signs that things are better, mostly because they're actually booking towards SummerSlam. So it's kind of forcing them to focus and have some angles and that kind of thing, which is very, very welcome. So Raw opens, <coughs> we're at the Allstate Arena in Chicago, Illinois. Having a crowd there makes it a million times better. Uh, we got Corey Graves and Byron Saxton. <laughs> um, Lashley makes his way out with MVP. He's the champ. They're, they're popping, all that good stuff. He's, uh, before Goldberg comes out, the Almighty has asked MVP to address a few things. Um, they talk about Goldberg. Blah, 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 blah. So Goldberg chants. Uh, Goldberg comes out, basically challenges him for SummerSlam. Um, the, the promos are terrible, but it's whatever. So we get the match. Um, Goldberg leaves. Says what's up to his son. MVP trash talks the kid. Goldberg comes out, spears MVP. Lashley didn't notice at first. It is what it is. Okay. Um, Drew McIntyre is backstage with the sword. There were a chance for, for Bray Wyatt, by the way, um, that they're drowning out. There's weird stuff going on with the audio. Um, they're clearly, like, at times enhancing chance. I don't know why you would have to do that in Chicago. It's a hot crowd. Everybody's glad to be back watching stuff, but it is what it is. Drew McIntyre is backstage with the sword. Um, just dumb shit. <laughs> a two-on-one handicap match, Veer and Shanky against Drew McIntyre. Um, guess what? Um, Jinder suddenly hits the ring with a steel chair and attacks, so Drew wins by DQ. They're working him over, but, um, Drew basically gets a hold of that sword, and they all go scattering. <sighs> Nia Jax is backstage with Shayna Baszler. Uh, wait till you see what I do to Rhea Ripley. Doubt that, but okay. Um, Kevin Patrick stops Drew McIntyre backstage asking him about, you know, what just happened. He says he didn't get to finish the job. Um, saying he might finish the job and the crowd in Chicago's thirsty for blood. This is dumb. <laughs> Nia Jax against Rhea Ripley. Uh, Nia takes a legit cut on the face. Um, Ripley rolls Jax up for the pin, which felt like, okay, typical roll-up finish. But then he, she lands a, her finisher on, picks her up and lands the finisher on Nia Jax. Why didn't they just do that for the finish? Weird shit. Uh, Mansoor and Mustafa Ali uh, defeated Mace and T-Bar last week, so they have another match, and this time T-Bar and Mace win in definitive fashion. fashion. See what I was saying about the 50-50 booking stuff? Weird. Um, and then they give the double choke slam sit down thing that looks really good on Ali. Okay. We see what happened last week between Charlotte Flair and Nikki Ash. Nikki is backstage running back and forth. Um, Charlotte's there. No holds barred match between the two. Um, and then uh, fans are chanting for Becky Lynch while Charlotte's talking. And another just really long promo. Um, Nikki Ash appears from behind Flair and drops her with a big steel chair shot to the back. Okay. Um, Lily and Alexa Bliss taunted Eva Marie in the Lily Lucian la during last week's match with Dewdrop against the women's tag champs. Eva and Dewdrop are backstage. Um, they talk more about Lily and Bliss, and it is what it is. So we got uh, Tamina Snuka against Dewdrop. Tamina ends up winning that match. Tamina makes her exit. Uh, Eva yells at Dewdrop, but we hear Alexa Bliss laughing on the big screen. Okay. Damian Priest won a non-title match over Sheamus, who's the U.S. champ, last week. 
so he'll get a future title shot, but first, um, Riddle and uh, Damien Priest actually have a nice moment where they're kind of talking to each other and they each put over what they're doing. Um, here comes Morrison and Miz for another episode of Miz TV. Eh, Damien Priest comes out. They remind us that how they had that tag match along with Bad Bunny at WrestleMania. It is what it is. Damien Priest against John Morrison. Damien Priest wins. There's all kinds of shenanigans that happen with sticks and water and stuff. Um, back from the break and we got a tag match and it's Sheamus and John Morrison against Ricochet and Damien Priest. Um, Priest drops Morrison um, and pins him so Ricochet and Damien Priest win. Uh, we see what happened earlier with Goldberg and Bobby Lashley. Now Lashley's pacing. Um, they confirm the match for SummerSlam. Yay. Raw tag champion Omos taking on Riddle in a match. Riddle doing a lot of work to make Omos look um, mobile and all that stuff. Um, Omos wins. Okay. Alexa Bliss is backstage with Lily, but Dewdrop attacks her suddenly and beats her down. And they insult Bliss and Lily. Ooh, Lily suddenly stands up by herself to end the segment. Oh, shit. Um, Karrion Cross against Keith Lee. Um, you know, um, Karrion Cross won last week against Lee. He was supposed to have a series of losses against Jeff Hardy, but Jeff Hardy has COVID. So he got to win against Keith Lee. So what happened this week? Of course, Keith Lee won. Kind of definitively, too. It's weird. Weird 50-50 booking stuff. Um, Kevin Patrick is backstage with Rhea Ripley. Says the match with Nia Jax was brutal, but not as brutal as a no-holds-barred match. Um, okay. 24-7 title match. Uh, Reggie, uh, he ends up taking Akira Tozawa. And he flips into him and pins him. Okay. Nikki Ash is backstage with Patrick, and she doesn't, you know, I've never been in a match this dangerous. Great. So now they have the match. Um, just a lot of Charlotte beating the fuck out of Nikki <laughs> um, in a big way. But at the end, Nikki gets out of the way. Charlotte throws herself through a table, and then she basically hits her finisher. Uh, Nikki does and gets the win for our third 50 50 booking thing of the night. She beats Charlotte, and so it goes. Ugh, raw.